Hey everybody, today we're doing a different kind of video. Instead of opening up baseball cards, I'm going to take some quizzes on baseball cards and see how I do. Um, it might be pretty bad if it's from an era that I'm not too familiar with. Like, I'm really good with my 80s junk wax and early 90s and for the past couple years, but any questions from like 1998 to like... 2012 when I wasn't collecting I might struggle with anything before 1980 might be tough so it's just gonna be fun I'm gonna take up a couple quizzes here I have it all on the screen you can see exactly what I'm seeing and we'll see how we do and you can also play along at home if you want to pause the video right there and um, I'll put the links in the description if you'd like to go try these quizzes out so the first one I'm gonna do just looking over you can see on the screen what I'm seeing here Let's do an easy one first. Let's do rookie cards 1978 to 1985. It says, how well do you know Topps rookie cards in the years they were released? We'll tell you a lot of info about the player. You supply the name. Baseball fans who don't know the cards will probably do well also. So this might be 100%. That's what I'm hoping for. Here's the um, quiz. Let's see if there's any data that tells you what the average score is. The average score looks like it's about a nine and a half. So where is the quiz at? I guess take the quiz. I guess we'll do play as a time quiz. Might as well, right? A rookie card, 78 to 85. I uh, hope my face isn't in the way, but let's get started. My top's rookie is 1978, number 36. I was born in Los Angeles in 1956, and I made my MLB debut in 1977 with an AL team on the East Coast. I eventually played for four teams in both leagues. I'm a member of the 500 Home Run Club AL team. That's got to be 78 Eddie Murray? Got it. All right, so one for one. Next question, rookie cards. My top's rookie is 1979, number 116. I don't know the numbers of the cards. I was born in Mobile, Alabama in 1954, debuting in the ML. B in 1978, 79. I hit 262 lifetime. Um, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go with Ozzy Smith, 1979 tops, and got it again. So two for two, pretty easy so far. Um, next, my rookie card was 1980, uh, 3000 hit club. This is easy. I don't just show me the answers already. I don't even need to see this. This is going to be Ricky Henderson. Saw the stolen bases in there. That made it a lot easier. So, three for three. Maybe this is too easy. My rookie card is 1982, number 21. Had to share it with Bob Bonner and Jeff Schneider. That's going to be Kyle Ripken Jr. So, as soon as it let, lets me go here and pick, I will immediately pick Kyle Ripken Jr. So far, I'm going to be four for four. So, get my confidence up here a little bit. Start off with 100%. Who wants to uh, start off, like, struggling here? So, uh, this next one. 1983 is their rookie card, born in Omaha, Nebraska, broke in and with an AL team, and that is going to be 83, so that's going to be Wade Boggs, obviously. Pretty easy. If you know your rookie cards pretty well, this is not that hard, because you can see some of the choices, and you automatically can eliminate some of the guys. So we got another 83 rookie right here. Um, okay, so that's going to be Tony Gwynn. Completely simple, 338 career batting average. Next, born in Spokane, Washington, 83 was his rookie card. All right, so debuted in 1981 with an NL team on the East Coast. Come on, that's going to be Ryan Sandberg. Oh, they're trying to trick you up with Tommy Herr and stuff like that. Not a lot of people know when Tommy Herr's rookie card is, so I can see why they're putting those in there. The choices are pretty easy. They should have put... Um, Guys that have rookie cards in the same class, like there's like Paul Molitor for some of these for like 1983. Okay, yes or no question. My rookie card is 1985. I was born in Panama, California, and came to the majors in 1986 with an AL team on the West Coast. After many years, I went, um, am I Barry Bonds? No, you're Mark McGuire. Got that one right. So a lot of reading there. My rookie card is 1985, number 181. I was born in 1962 in Dayton, Ohio, and my first name is actually William. Came up in 1984 with an AL team on the East Coast, but I've played for two other AL teams. Won 280 games. Okay, that's, I'm guessing that's got to be Roger Clemens. The other guys don't have rookies. I didn't know his first name was actually William, but pretty interesting. We're on question 10 out of 10. We got all these right so far. My record card is 85, number 536. I was born in Chicago. 
And I stayed with the team my entire career. That's Kirby Pocket. So you can go ahead and see what I got here. I got them all right. My total score was, where is it at? I, I forget what it is, but I got 100%. Um, I got all these ads on here. 851 out of 1,000. So that's not bad. 100%. You scored all 10 right. The average score of this quiz is a 9 out of 10, so pretty easy. Let's go and try a more difficult one because that was way too simple. So let me go back here and go back. All right, we're back on the main page here. Let's try a different one. Let's go with a tough quiz this time. Major League Baseball cards. Uh, it says it's tough, so I'm guessing the average score is probably like a 5 or 6. Let's give this a try. Here's another quiz about vintage Major League Baseball cards. I hope you enjoy by the Mick. Okay. What is the uncorrected error in Hank Aaron's 1957? I'm guessing his birth date's wrong. Okay. It's reverse negative. All right. Probably should have known that, but I got it wrong. What is Hall of Famer Eddie Matthews' rookie card? Okay, I know he has a 52 tops card, so I'm going to... Uh, but does he have a red-black card? Yes, 52 tops got that one right. So, I guess I'm one for two. What year did tops produce its first cards with actual pictures of the players without any alterations? Of course, it's all from the 50s. With actual pictures, I'm going to say 57. All right, got that one right. That was also the first year they used standard uh, size cards. On the back of Whitey Herzog's 58 Tops card, it reads that he caught the first pitch thrown to start the 1957 season. What president threw that pitch? That's got to be 1957. Dwight D. Eisenhower was before Kennedy. Kennedy came in 1960. So if I wasn't a Spanish teacher, I would have been a history teacher. Which president threw out the first opening day pitch? All right, I probably should know this one. Is it Taft? Got it. All right, so a little tricky there. Ted Williams has a Topps rookie card. I'm going to say no. Got that one right. 39 was his rookie year, so Topps actually picked him up near the end of his career. There is not a single Hall of Famer rookie card in the 1958 Topps set. There's not a... That's... Ooh, rookie card, that's the key. I'm going to say true on that. I think I'm going to say true. There were some nice rookies in 57 with Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson. Oh, wait. Oh, Sparky Anderson, was he 58? I'm going to say false. Yes, Sparky Anderson, I think. Was, maybe not, but I got it right anyway. Uh, Roger Maris and Orlando Cepeda. Sparky Anderson might have been 59. What kind of insert has never been issued in a top set? Posters, redemption cards for actual game tickets. I think that's it. Yeah. Definitely had posters. Mickey Mantle is represented in every issue of Topps cards from 52 to 69. That is definitely false. He wasn't in 54 or 55. So I got that one. Um, and who was the only player to have two regular issue cards in the 54 top set? To have two regular issue cards? I'm guessing Ted Williams. This is a total guess. Got it right. Splendid Splinter is card number one. He was also in there for 250. So I did pretty well on that tough one. Pretty happy with that. I actually got, the average score was a five. I actually got nine right. And um, let's try a different one. Let's go over to Sporkle right now and try another quiz. So far, I'm pretty happy. That one was all 50 stuff, but it wasn't that hard if you know your 50s cards. Uh, how about this one? MLB players by card. Can you name the current and former MLB players? This might be fun, so long as they're not from like the uh, 2000s. Play the quiz. Um, all right, this is extremely easy. That's obviously Ichiro. Next, give it to me. Come on, that's Eckersley. Next, it's too easy. Mattingly, I don't even have to like. I guess they have names. That's Trout. This is too easy. Thomas, do you have anything harder for me? Uh, that's Pocket. Next. 
Mantle. Maybe we'll set an all-time record for this. That's Hanley Ramirez. Mm, come on, that's Piazza. So your typing speed, that's Puig. Typing speed's coming into play here. That's Yount. If you're a slow typer, that's going to be Galarraga. Hopefully I spell his name right. Got it. Just need the last name. That's going to, ooh, that's Bo Jackson with Auburn. Looked a little bit like Gregory Polanco. That's going to be Chipper Jones. Uh, that's Yadier Molina, 2004, rookie card. That's the great one, Roberto Clemente. It's too easy. That's Greg Maddox. One of the, I think that's from 1997, Fleer. Somewhere in there, maybe. Yvonne Rodriguez, rookie card from 91, Fleer Update. That's Bryce Harper's rookie. 2012, that's what... Come on, it's too easy. Well, Barry Larkin, 1987, Don Russ. Barry Bonds, 86... Update from Fleer. That's going to be you, Darvish. We need to find like an obscure one. That's Tony Gwynn. For those of you that aren't that good with baseball cards, this would be kind of fun for you. Especially if you're a younger kid. At Why are we getting Eckersley again? Of course, I'm typing his name wrong. Eckersley. What? It's Eckersley. What is going on here? Is that... Why is it not Eckersley? That's how you spell his name. Eckersley. I got it right the first time. Eckersley, right? Oh, is it EY? Oh, it's EY. Well, that killed me. So I cheated there for a minute. I had to look. I, I got them all right, but for some reason I forgot how to spell Dennis Eckersley's name at the end. That was rather embarrassing, so I got 100% on that one. Now let's go try another one. Go back to all baseball card quizzes, see if we can find another one that's... Uh, I don't know here. Um, this 21,000. Can you guess the name that the players on these cards share? This might be fun. Let's play the quiz. Okay, this is going to be super easy again. Robinson for Jackie Robinson. We'll move my face over here so you can see a little bit better. Uh, that's going to be Hubie Brooks on the left. Brooks Robinson on the right. Uh, that's going to be Carlton, Steve Carlton. Come on, tight. There we go. Why is this on? There's like an audio bar on the screen. Don't like that at all. That's Brett Cecil and Cecil Fielder. Go away, audio bar. Go away. That's going to be Jeff Kent and Kent Colby. Um, Tommy John. John Franco. It's going to be Hunter Pence and Catfish Hunter. Carlos Lee and Lee May. Paula Orlando and Orlando Hudson. This is easy. Another easy one. Well, I just missed one. I accidentally hit the... That's going to be Gary Thurman and Thurman Munson. Come on, slow computer. There we go. Dave Henderson and Henderson Alvarez. Let's put this back over here. Audio thing is bothering me. That's Heath Bell and Mike Heath. Danny Darwin and Darwin Barney. Sean Casey and Casey Candell. Matt. Ooh. Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy. I think about that one for a second. Okay, that's easy. Nolan Ryan. What else do we have? Ron Santo and Santa Alcala. Kevin Gregg with two G's and Greg Jeffries with two G's. Brooke Jacoby. This is, I mean, this is pretty easy because if you don't know one, the other one can help you out. Roberto Kelly is the guy on the left, and we got 100% again. Average score is 100 or 64. So honestly, I haven't seen these before. Um, it's just, this is extremely, that was really, really easy. So let me see if I can find one that's going to be difficult. Let's go back to that page again. 
Are any of these hard? I mean, some of you guys are really good at trivia. You'd be able to get these like that. Um, can you pick the players that are pictured on baseball cards while not wearing a traditional uniform? What's the average score? If it's, let's, this is going to be, all right, let's give it a try. 15 of these. Andrew McCutcheon, so I guess you, this might be easy. Palmero, Rafael Palmero, right there. Uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, Dream Team, right there. Pedro Martinez. Where's Pedro at? Pedro, where are you? I'm guessing it's that East West. It's tough to see his face there, but that's got to be him. Nolan Ryan in the cowboy hat. Dennis Eckersley, the Dream Team, Chipper Jones. Where's Chip Rat? That's his old, good old Bowman card. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, Dream Team. Um, Jose Canseco. Looks like he's wearing a hockey shirt there. Marina Rivera, 92. Will Clark, Will with Thrills right there. Cliff Floyd, where are you at, Cliffy? There you are, your stadium club from 91. Kyle Ripken Jr., that's your milk bone card. You used to love those cards as a kid. So you, Darvis. And Curry Pocket, again, that was too easy. So we got them all right. Average scores of 90. Come on. Let's find a hard one here. Do it again. <laughs> Genius level Einstein. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to fun trivia and try a super difficult one, a very difficult one. How about this one? Ultimate baseball cards rated very difficult. The best baseball card quiz. Enjoy. Let's see if I can beat the average. A timed quiz. Hopefully it's hard. In 1991, Fleer issued a premier set called Ultra. The original name was not Ultra. What was it? I'll go with... Elite, and okay, that's right. I heard that somewhere that because of Don Ross and their Elite set that Fleer had to change the name. So I heard that somewhere. Baseball was not the first sport to be produced on the top's finest brand. What sport was? Finest came out in 93 for baseball. Was it basketball? All right, so I'm just going to let it go because I don't want to Guess again and then get it right. Probably soccer in the UK, huh? Football's finest. Whoops. All 87 Donruss cards can be found with upside down card backs. Why? Uh, I'm guessing they were errors because Donruss used two different printing. All 87 Donruss cards? They were issued in factory sets? I don't, that, that was a weird question. The way that was kind of worded through me. What well, year did Topps first produce its traded set in wax packs and factory sets? Wax packs. 1991. No, 1990. They made them in wax packs. What? Oh, 74. It's going to be 74. I wasn't alive in 74. 1985, a test ran is 80. I did not know that. I, okay. Never saw 85 top straight at wax packs. What year was the first borderless cards issued by a major card company? Borderless cards? Was it 91 with Stadium Club? 1990. I'm going to go with 91. I'll probably get it wrong. Got it. There we go. So that makes me feel good. At least got that one right. Which regular issue set below was the first to use gold foil stamping on all of the cards in the set? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to guess Ultra in 92 had gold foil stamping. What was the Stadium Club? Ultra. It was Stadium Club. Dang it, 91. I don't remember gold on 91, but 
What company introduced the parallel insert card? The parallel insert card. Tops Gold? Is it Tops Gold? I'm going to guess Tops. Yes. Tops Gold. 92. What of which of the following error cards was never corrected? Mm, that's their Hank Aaron reverse negative. Just um, saw that one not too long ago. What as the 1990s wore on, serially numbered serial is spelled wrong there. Insert cards became all the rage. Collectors joked that one day they would not. Be shocked to see the first of one of one cards. Which company made the first one of a kind baseball card? The first ever one of one? Is that what you're asking? The first ever one of one? I'm guessing it's either Upper Deck SPX or Donruss Fractal Matrix. Upper Deck. It was Fractal Matrix, I bet. No. Clear Showcase from 97. Did not know that. Which baseball legend does not have a certified autograph card? which can be found in a pack of cards. Hmm. I'm guessing Pete Rose, actually. Because I've, I've pulled Sandy Koufax. I know Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth have releases in packs, but I'm thinking of it, Pete Rose? Never, have, ever have seen him. So if Pete was banned in baseball and can't be pictured on any cards. Makes sense. My results on the very difficult quiz, I ended up getting... Five right, and the average score is four. So I beat the odds right there. And um, I guess that's good, 50% on a very difficult quiz. I think I'm going to stop right there. I would like to play some more quizzes, but I don't want this video to go 40 minutes or whatever because I could sit in here all night and play these quizzes. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you like this quiz video, hit the thumbs up button down there. Also, make sure you're subscribed if you're new here. We'll be back to opening cards um, in no time soon. And maybe one of these days I'll do another quiz video. It'd be cool to do a quiz video against somebody else at the same time, maybe via Google Hangouts or something. Or maybe I could put something on the line um, where if I don't get a certain score, then I have to give away something. I don't know. But thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your evening.